second you start listening to sound critically, that's when you open the can of worms that you're never really satisfied. So you're constantly searching for the ultimate tone. It, the joy in that is getting somewhere. My name is Tyler Petito and I am the head engineer at Acorn Amplifiers. I'm Bill Walters, and I am the manager at Acorn Amplifiers. Here at Acorn, we build just all handmade vacuum tube amplifiers and effects pedals. We're a full-service repair shop for both guitar amps and bass amps and effects pedals. We just strive to build the amp that the guitarist wants to hear. It's totally fine. Yeah, look at that trim pod that he uses, generally. We weren't trying to reinvent the wheel. We wanted to take all of the best amp sounds and kind of put them into one without making it overly complex so it's still very transparent. It has a good quality. It doesn't sound choked out or overly compressed, but provide that versatility where people can get martial tones. They can get Fender tones. They can get Vox tones, and then the EQ is dynamic enough to then get completely different tones that, aren't, that don't fit inside the envelope. I mean, everyone wants the, that 60s and 70s tone from those amazing hits that you know they grew up on, and that's still the the best guitar sounds that people have made. For some reason, that that the warmth you get from like those analog simple devices is just like unparalleled. A lot of times, the simplest path to a conclusion is the best. So, when you send an audio signal through an analog device, it goes through very minimal processes. And so you have an integrity there to the original sound being made by the guitar. I think it's just a better representation of the real world. Your ear has a compressor inside of it. There's like a flap inside your ear that when you hear loud sounds, it closes. And so you have this like natural compression that your body works with. And that's one of the things that makes a vacuum tube so different is the amount of compression. There she is, uh, 1.6 amps. When I'm at the bench, making an amplifier sound the way it hasn't sounded in 50 years, making it sound better than it sounded when it was new 50 years ago. I'm creating something that's just gonna keep making art. It's not a piece of art, it's not something that's gonna hang on the wall, it's gonna keep making different art mm. for, for decades, it's wild. The, the technology and the art are always just going to work together, regardless of how intricate it is, how simple it is. The artist is going to figure out how to make the tool work for them. But there'll always be, you know, something to be said about someone who steps up and plays an analog instrument versus a digital one.